To start building our first application, we begin in the Data tab with the user data type, which allows us to sign users up, log them in, and log them out. Our recipe application is part functional and part social network, so we want to add some custom fields to the user type so we can display that on their profile. The first custom field we want to enter is the field name, which will be type text. The next field will be about, which is also field type text. The final field for the user will be called profile photo, and its type will be of type image. Because it's field type image, it allows our users to save their images to our database. Now when users sign up, we have the ability to store these three attributes about them. Next, we need a way to store our desserts. In our case, we'll make one more data type and call it recipe. Now, just like we did for the user, we are going to create new fields that define our recipes for our users to submit. The first field will be the name of the recipe, which will be field type text. The second field will be the ingredients for the recipe, which will also be field type text. The next field will be for the headline, which we'll use to show a one sentence explanation of our recipe. And we'll make this one type text as well. Then we'll have a photo for the recipe, which will be field type image. Finally, we want the ability for users to upvote their favorite recipes, so we will make this field type number, which will allow us to store its exact amount of upvotes. One extra thing we can set for our data types is a default. For example, if name had a default of default name, every new recipe would initially start with this as its name. Where this is really useful is for our upvotes, as we can give each recipe a default upvote count of zero. Now that we have our data types and fields created, we're done. We don't have to modify them for the remainder of this course, though Bubble makes it incredibly easy to do so if we needed to. In the next lesson, we're going to create the page structure that we'll use throughout our app.